everyone, it's Dr. Bridget Young from babyformulaexpert.com and we are actually in my very own kitchen and I'm going to show you how I combine baby foods to get a more nutritionally complete meal for your baby. So if you haven't already, I've already filmed a video about how I shop for baby food at the grocery store and what I look for on the labels. And here I'm going to show you both how I mix commercial baby food together and how I do some mixing with some of my own homemade baby food. So I'm going to start off with all the store-bought baby food. And I have a bunch of it out on the counter, and this is sort of how I actually organize it in its shelf on the pantry, where I have a group of um, meals that are pretty complete all together. So we have a vegetable turkey dinner, a vegetable beef pilaf, um, and these are totally fine because they have vegetables and meat, which is a good source of iron and zinc, and they're ready to feed to baby, um, and I do just feed those to him straight without mixing. Then I have a section to just meats and these are just a plain meat puree, there's nothing else in it. Then I have a section for vegetable blends. So these are all different kinds and brands of vegetable blends that I buy. This is actually a generic store brand spinach and sweet potato. Here's a pumpkin and spinach carrots and broccoli. So these are all uh, blends of nutrient dense vegetables. Then on a different section in the pantry, I have what I call his desserts. So these are fruit and vegetable blends. And remember, despite what it says on the front of the package, almost all of these blends are primarily fruit. For example, this one is butternut squash pear blend. But if we flip the back, the first ingredient is actually organic pear, then the butternut squash. So um, this is gonna have much more sugar in it than if it were just squash, which is okay, um, but I do call it dessert and I try to not feed blends like this to him primarily because I think it's a lot of sugar to eat at once. So, if I were out of homemade baby food, or just in a hurry, or let's be honest, uh, we all wish we could make homemade baby food 100% of the time, but uh, we have kids and we have jobs, so it just doesn't happen. So I do a lot of mixing of the store-bought food. Like I said, the, the sort of meal, beef dinner are good to go. A lot of times what I do is I'll just grab, since I have them all organized, I'll just grab one quick pouch or can from the vegetable, one quick meat, sometimes I don't even look which is which, and then I'll mix these together. So this may be what he has for dinner tonight, carrots and broccoli and beef. And then I'll just combine these together into a normal bowl, stir it up, feed it to him. Um, my baby, Peter, PD, is about nine months old, so sometimes he'll eat all this at once and sometimes he won't. And then I actually use, I have a bunch here, ramekins, baking ramekins for the leftovers if he doesn't use them because they are fantastic size and they're glass. So you don't have to worry about reheating plastic if you're worried about that with your baby food. So I do that quick mixing all the time. It's also really easy for my husband if I have them organized in the pantry and he knows if mom's not home, take one from this side, one from this side of the shelf and dinner is ready. So that's how I blend dinners. And then desserts, I often offer him dessert after his dinner every night, um, but it's not just the fruit or fruit blend. Um, because there's so much sugar in these, because they're fruit, especially if you get just a plain fruit blend, like mangoes and apples or banana and raspberry, that's a lot of straight sugar carbohydrates. So I like to mix these with a healthy fat or fat protein combination, both because Baby needs both fat and protein, a lot of it. And also because the fat and the protein will help slow the absorption of the sugar so it won't be such a rush on that little system. So here I have all my options of healthy fats that I use frequently. Um, this is not a healthy fat. This is actually just a peanut butter bar that I left out to remind myself. It's frozen, it's fine right now. I make these peanut butter bars as snacks for him because they crumble really well but are kind of greasy enough that he can pick them up with his little pincer grasp. So I will post the recipe to this peanut butter bar on the website if you want to try it out for yourself. But back to the topic at hand, blending healthy fats with our dessert blends. Healthy fats that I use all the time are 
organic, natural peanut butter, so the kind you have to stir, not the jiffy kind. Um, peanut butter is one of those potentially allergenic foods that you need to have introduced to your baby ahead of time to know that they have no reaction and speak with your doctor um, because if you have a history of food allergy, they may have uh, recommendations for when you introduce peanut butter. But PD has no problem with peanut butter and that's a great healthy fat that I stir into a lot of his desserts, especially something like butternut squash and pear or sometimes I thaw homemade baby food squash frozen and I'll stir in peanut butter and he really likes that. It's kind of got a like a sweet peanut butter curry sort of flavor. So he really likes that. This is, oh, I'm gonna just have it foil. This is coconut cream. So it's not coconut milk. It's actually, you know, when you open coconut milk and you haven't stirred it, the, the solid fat on the top, this whole can is just that solid fat. So I stir a hunk of that in with one of these pouches. You warm it up in the microwave for even just 10 seconds. This will melt, but it's, it's still very creamy. So it adds a nice, healthy fat to the sugar. Avocado is a fantastic fat and also has some vitamins and minerals in it. PD eats a lot of avocado. So I would take one pouch and mix it with an entire avocado, all mashed up. And that would definitely be at least two nights of dessert for him. Um, and he really enjoys that mixed with anything. This is a really enormous container, but we eat a lot of it. This is organic coconut oil. Coconut oil is an oil, so um, it's very calorically dense. So I wouldn't stir in a whole huge tablespoon of this, but a teaspoon or two with one of the fruits is going to really even out the absorption of the carbohydrates. Um, and the fat that is in coconut oil uh, is very healthy for your baby and is very easy to absorb. And lastly, um, I use hard-boiled egg yolks as a healthy fat and also egg yolks have an incredible amount of vitamins and minerals in them. Um, so if you think about it, the egg yolk is what the baby chicken eats when they're growing inside the egg. So it's full of everything a baby chicken needs. So it's pretty nutrient dense. So for PDL, hard boil even a dozen eggs, then just take the egg yolks and mash them up with uh, a little breast milk or you could use formula. Then I freeze that into ice cube trays so I can just pop out a little bit at a time and use that as a healthy fat. One ice cube tray size, so one ice cube size container of egg yolk with one of these pouches makes a fantastic, very nutritional dessert. Okay, so those are all my healthy fats that we use all the time. And lastly, I'm just gonna show you how I use those same approaches when I'm preparing all of my homemade baby food. So we do, I try to do mostly homemade baby food, but again, it's probably like 50-50 if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Um, I thaw them in ramekins, like I said, because mine come with these awesome little tops and then we can reheat them right in the ramekin and not have to worry about plastic. So I have five. And then here are all of my foods that I had in my freezer. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but they're all ice cube sized chunks of food. And we have, this is um, different types of squash, chicken, this is ground beef cooked up and mashed. Oh my God, I don't even know the difference between these two. One is green beans, one is broccoli. Uh, I'm not sure which is which. And this is spinach. And this is actually um, homemade whole milk yogurt. It's in a gelato container, which is not the most nutritional thing I could show you. Uh, but these containers are awesome and this gelato is delicious. Don't feed it to your baby, it's for mommy. <laughs> um, but this is homemade whole milk yogurt. Um, so the way I try to think about it when I'm fine foods so but I don't overwhelm myself is I made myself this rule. One yellow, two green, one meat. So, and by meat could be chicken or beef or yogurt, which is not a meat, but it has a lot of protein in it and fat, so I count it in that group. And so what I'll do is I'll take out my, my starch. So this is squash. I also will do sweet potato or pumpkin, any starchy vegetable, but carrots. Um, and they usually tend to have a little more sugar in them um, There are than other vegetables, and so Petey really likes those. So um, it helps him to get more food down if I have at least one starchy vegetable in there. Okay, so one yellow, two green. So I'm just gonna open up all my green and just kind of 
mix and match two in each, especially since whoop, it's hard for me to remember which is which. This way. He's at least getting one of each. <laughs> okay, two green, and we need one more green here. Okay. And then one meat or protein, however you want to call it. Okay, so we'll put a beef in that one. I guess we need. We'll have two beef, two chicken, and then um, I have frozen ice cubes of yogurt. We're actually just out of them right now, so sometimes I have those. Um, and then you can just pour an ice cube size amount or take a good um, scoop of this and put it on top. And then I would just let them thaw and they're ready to go for the next couple days. All right. And then occasionally, um, I'll even go farther for things like the chicken. So the beef, I happen to know because I made it, it was full fat. I didn't buy any lean um, ground beef. So that has a good amount of fat in it. The yogurt will have a good amount of fat in it. The chicken is much more lean. So occasionally, um, I'll even take a little scoop of coconut cream or maybe half a teaspoon of coconut oil and add it to these just to be sure that, for instance, if Petey eats this for a meal, it's not too low fat for him. Babies need a lot of fat. So that's how I mix my own meals, both with homemade baby food and store-bought baby food. If you have any questions, feel free to come over to the website and let me know if you have your own favorite mixed recipe. I'd love to hear it. Again, this is Dr. Bridget Young from babyformulaexpert.com, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. This is Dr. Bridget Young from babyformulaexpert.com. Head over to the website to get more great information about how to give your baby the best nutrition possible.